Uh, I mean, I think they're more comfortable, um, you know, their surroundings, their routine. Uh, but I think the good role players, you know, look forward to competing and playing on the road. Uh, and I think, you know, our guys who have that experience, uh, I think they look forward to playing in these type of environments. Um, and if you're going to win, like your role players have to be at their best. Um, you know, they're going to try their best to take away your key guys, your ball handlers, those types of things. So you're going to need your role players to make plays. Uh, and I think our guys are battle tested and ready for that. A team that's down 2-0, they're going to play with a level of urgency that is hard for a team that's up 2-0 to match. How do you match it? I mean, it's, you know, game by game. The last two games mean absolutely nothing, right? Playoff series are won by winning each individual game. So uh, being up 2-0 has nothing to do with our approach or our mindset going into this game. Uh, it's one game on the road uh, that we got to go and take care of business, and that's what our focus is. JB, a lot of guys we're talking about, they realize that they have to take this now on the road with them. So from your perspective, what has to happen uh, for you guys to play as well down there as we got to see you play well? Uh, I mean, we got to continue to defend. That, that's what this series is going to come down to, uh, and all the small things that we continue to talk about that give us uh, an advantage uh, we have to take care of. We got to take care of the paint. Uh, we got to limit their individual guys from having big nights. Uh, make everything tough on them. You know, do a job on the glass. You know, I still think we can improve uh, on our turnovers. We can be better there. So I don't think we've played our best basketball yet. Um, you know, I think we're still working towards that. But I think the guys have an understanding of what we need to do uh, and how we do it when we're at our best. Can you win this series without? Uh, <laughs> just have hit more than they do, but um, no, I think, you know, we, there's going to come a point where our shots are going to fall. Um, you know, our guys are good shooters. I still think we're creating uh, good shots for one another. Um, you know, our defense thus far has been really good. And, you know, again, we continue to defend that way. We always give ourselves a chance, but I do think, you know, we're getting the right shots. We just got to make some more. In Max's case, I mean, he's really worked hard on his front. Do you think that is uh, I mean, you know, he, he's doing a great job. Um, and with us, we don't hang on those guys' misses and makes um, because Max is a complete basketball player. So, you know, he's rebounding the basketball. He's finding assists for us. So as long as he continues to play the right way, I'm not worried about his shot because he's going to have an impact on the game no matter what. Has George gotten to the point where he's pressing? Uh, I mean, having conversations with him, um, I don't feel like that's where he's at. Um, you know, I think he's getting good looks. They're just not going in. And, you know, the ebbs of flows in the season, and that's why there's percentages uh, and the averages of it because guys kind of have some ups and downs. Uh, and I know if George keeps taking those good shots, they'll go for him. Following up on Joe's first question, how, how do you, you talked a lot about your defense and how much you guys have prepped for that, but how do you kind of scheme and game plan for a team that is equally as defensive-minded and everything is kind of the same approach? Yeah, I mean, you have to find where you have your advantages, right? And um, when you take a look at most teams in the NBA, um, you know, they're better when you allow them to settle in. And Orlando's a perfect example of that. Um, you know, if you are stagnant, if you are walking the ball up the floor, uh, they do a great job with their length and size and schemes and keeping everything in front of you. So we got to find ways to get things done earlier in the clock. Uh, you know, hopefully off of our stops, find some easier transition opportunities, get into our first action across half court more quickly, where it feels like they have to chase us through the possession and they're not just staring 10 eyes on the ball. Maybe Orlando hasn't shot well from three either uh, this week. How do you keep them cold? Uh, it's, again, it's how they create those threes and putting ourselves in position to contest them. Um, you know, if we're scrambling around defensively and we have to be in heavy rotations, they've got feet set. You know, now they're capable of knocking those shots down. I think we've been in a position where we've been able to heavily contest most of their threes. Uh, and that's, you know, again, make or miss. But we all know percentages drop when those threes are highly contested. Uh, he was not. Uh, I, he will not be available for game three. How do you feel like he was moving I mean, he was still picking up full court, uh, still pressuring the ball. Um, you know, I give him credit. He's a really, really tough kid, um, you know, who wants to help his team win. And you know, I think that was big time for him to come back, you know, and play um, with whatever, you know, injury was there. But 
Um, you know, I thought he did. A, he looked, you know, like he was fine and able to do what he needed to do. I mean, I, I wouldn't know, but it seems to me like you guys did not attack him more after he came back. Is that, is that right? Yeah, and, and I don't feel like he wasn't moving at a level where we thought he was the guy to attack. You talk about you talk about how Evan Mobley has defended for you in these first two. I mean, he's been fabulous, you know, as an on-ball defender. Um, you know, he does a great job of keeping people in front of him, um, making guys have to shoot over the top of him. He's got great length, and he's executed our coverages and schemes at a high level as well. He's done a great job uh, protecting the paint. Um, you know, he's rebounding the ball well for us. He's covering up mistakes, uh, and he guards multiple positions. You know, he guards one through five on any given night. So uh, I think he's been phenomenal, um, and there's a reason why you know, when he plays games, like last year, uh, he was in running for Defensive Player of the Year because he is elite at what he does. Maybe you said health was one of the most important things for your group entering this series, and also kind of the mindset as you prepare for the playoffs. How have you seen that play out in the first two games and you're anticipating all the uh, Again, I mean, all, I think all teams, um, you know, the teams that have the most success are typically the teams that stay the healthiest. And, you know, I think we have a ton of depth, even though we've cut our rotation a little bit. We haven't had to run guys, you know, into the 40-minute mark. So uh, being healthy, being versatile because of that health, like we can have guys play, you know, higher minutes than typically in the regular season, but not anything that's going to make them, you know, wear them down so that they don't have any juice in the fourth quarter. J.B., the other night, uh, Donovan, you know, mentioned, hey, it, it's on me. I have to set the tone. That's my, you know, that's my job. That's my role. Um, and we saw that. Uh, in the first two games, but have you just seen a different level from him? I mean, we know what a great player he is, <laughs> night in and night out, but do you just see him dialing it up yeah, he, another notch? Donovan understands the moment, and that's one of the things that makes him elite and unique. Uh, not only does he understand it, but he doesn't feel the pressure when the moment is big, and you know, that's what makes those guys different, right? So he understands the start of games. He understands the fourth quarter. Uh, and he doesn't have a fear uh, of being courageous in those moments. And, you know, again, that sets the tone. That's leadership. Uh, put, makes our guys comfortable and be able to play better as well. With how much ramp up would a guy need to be able to, you know, be circled into a playoff series? Uh, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, he's doing more and more now. Um, but, you know, again, uh, I can't speak on, you know, his medical stuff, but you know, whatever we do, it'll be with his safety in mind, and we'd never put him in position uh, to risk that. And it looks like Orlando is kind of blitzing Donovan at times, and it's kind of a pressure point. Like, I could have one moment in the third quarter when he was able to somehow find Max at the top of the corner, and we've got Harris and then reset. But in the event Orlando starts to lean heavier on this whole scheme, especially when they're at home, they're like doing themselves a little bit more. What can your guys do to kind of counteract that just so they don't? You know, choke off a big offensive uh, well, One is, you know, we need to be available for Donovan. So that means we need to find our windows of space where he can get get us the basketball. Uh, two, and then we just continue to pass the ball to the open man. Um, you know, if they want to put two people on the ball and allow us to play four on three basketball, um, I like our chances in those advantage situations. So, um, you know, we just have to make ourselves available, uh, make them pay, and then make them have to find something different. When you watch the film from the first two games, um, what kind of turnovers are you seeing, and is there a commonality between it at all? This is the last question. Uh, uh, some of them have been us playing in small spaces, uh, and some of them have been us, you know, trying to be a little too aggressive. Uh, so I do think there's areas where we can clean those up. Uh, but again, give them credit. It's one of the things that they do well is force turnovers. So, uh, you know, we can take care of the ball better, just make the easy, simple play, um, you know, and not try to force the issue uh, as much as we have sometimes. All right, thank you.